Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade five, we are working in module five and on lesson number two. And that means that we are finding the volume of a right rectangular prism by packing it with cube units and by counting. Now again, the work that you do in your classroom uh, may be a little bit different than the work you do at home just because we might not have uh, unit cubes, centimeter cubes here at home. Uh, but let's take a look at a couple problems from tonight's homework and see if we can get you moving. Problem number one. Problem number one is one that I can't really do for you since I've got just a video here and I'm not recording any live action. Let's look at the directions, see if we can help you out. Um, make the following boxes on centimeter grid paper. Oh, okay. Cut and fold each to make three open boxes, taping them so that they hold their shapes. How many cubes would fit will uh, would fill each box? Explain how you found the number. So for each of these, you're going to go have to go ahead and use your centimeter grid paper uh, to make exactly that pattern, and then you're going to have to see well how many cubes could you fit in there. Now that you've made that um, that pattern, now you've cut it out, now that you've taped up the sides, and now you have this open box, how many cubes could you fit in there? I'm going to leave you to do those since I'm not doing live action videos and just doing uh, 2D stuff here. Let's look at problem number two. Problem number two asks us, how many centimeter cubes would fit inside each box? Explain your answer using words and diagrams on each box. The figures are not drawn to scale. So let's take a look. I'm going to do problem uh, number 2B. 2B, let's see, how many cubes are there in this box? Let's see. Well, if I look at the front face, right, this front part, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, and it looks like there's another face, right? There's another layer right behind this face of six cubes with presumably six more cubes. So I think that would be six here, and then just behind that would be six more. So I think that would mean a total of 12 cubes, 12 cubic centimeters. Um, I would say the face has six cubes plus six more behind. That'll pretty much do it. Um, you'll go ahead and take a crack at uh, 2a if that was assigned, and then also 2c. And again, note uh, that just as with yesterday's lesson, we have that issue of not being able to physically count each one of the cubes as, as cubes that we see, but having to know that there'll be a face of cubes and that there's another layer just behind that. Let's take a look at, finally, uh, problem number three. Problem number three says the box pattern below holds 24 one-centimeter cubes. Draw two different box patterns that would hold the same number of cubes. And I'm looking here at their diagram and trying to remember how that worked in class today. When we had a diagram like this, what I remember thinking is that this base part, right, this told us how many cubes would be in the bottom layer. And I'm noticing that there are 12. It looks like 3, 6, 9, 12. It looks like there's 12 cubes in the bottom layer. And then what I kept finding out is that each of the sides, we could tell how high the sides were because we would just cut these out, right, and then we would fold them up. And once we folded them up, we knew that this is exactly two units high. We fold this side up, fold this side up, fold these, this end up, this end up, tape them all the way around, and now we have these sides are each two units high. So it's 12 cubes on the bottom, and there's two layers of 12, and that must be how they got to 24 centimeter cubes. So I have to think of another way that we could get to a box that had 24 cubes. So let's see. I'm thinking, well, let's see. What if I did, I don't know, what if I did six cubes as the bottom of mine. I'm going to highlight that in. Six cubes at the bottom. Well, if I did six cubes at the bottom, I had six cubes per layer, then I would need, let's see, I would need, well, I'd need the sides to be one, two, three, four units tall. So let's see if I can do that. I'll do four units tall here, and then it, this one would need to be four units tall, and then this little wing down here would be four units tall. And then this wing here would be four units tall. Now I can go ahead and draw in the, the cubes, just like they've done before, just to emphasize that. But I think that would do it. Let's get done with our, draw, our tracing and see if we think that would do it. Let's see. So if we had the base of six cubes and we tilted up this left panel and this right panel, cut those out, sorry, cut all the way around, right? and then tilt it up this one, it would be one, two, three, four units high. We tilt up the left panel, that's one, two, three, four units high. We tilt up this front panel, one, two, three, four units high, and tilt up the back panel, one, two, three, four units high. We would have a box that had six cubes in each layer and had one, two, three, four layers, and that would be 24 cubes. I think that would do it. Awesome. Well, listen, I'm going to leave you to decide how you want to draw your other one, because this problem asked us to, to draw two different box patterns, not just one. 
Um, I'm going to leave you to figure out how you're going to solve that other problem. And I'll thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time on Mr. Kung Has Problems. Take care.